Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and today I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about taper mounts. So let's get into it. All right, so taper mounts. Taper mounts are basically the, the hybrid of direct thread and quick detach. All right, specifically talking about muzzle device or yeah, muzzle devices, but suppressor mounts. All right, so the traditional way you generally would attach a suppressor to a firearm, right, would be direct thread, which the pros of that are it's it's, it's simple. There's practically no moving parts. It's just you, you're screwing on. It's basically, you're screwing threads on. There's no moving detents and springs and stuff to wear out. It's very simple. All right, it's very lightweight. That's another big pro of these things. A con is that when you take the suppressor off, you have exposed threads on your firearm that can easily get dinged up. So you're gonna have to put some other muzzle device on, whether it be a simple thread protector or another flash hider muzzle brake or something, all right? The other way people generally mount suppressors is with a quick detach, right? Whether that be Chemo from Dead Air or uh, the Phantom series from Yankee Hill or like most any, almost any suppressor manufacturer is gonna have their own version of a quick detach, almost all of them. They have some way to attach their suppressors, that's for sure. And most of them are either direct thread or some kind of quick detach, right? The pros of the quick detach is you can take the suppressor on the gun, you can take the suppressor off the gun, relatively simple and easy, all right? The downside is it's heavy because you got a big muzzle device, generally, sometimes it's smaller, but you have a muzzle device you gotta worry about, and then you have some kind of a locking mechanism that's gonna have springs or detents or ratcheting systems, things that can wear out, all right? Like I said in the beginning, the taper mount is basically the hybrid of the two. It is kind of like direct thread because you have coarse threads, not fine threads like half by 28 or five eighths by 24. Uh, they're coarser than that, so it's quicker than a traditional direct thread, but it also has a taper, right? A taper is going to help seal up the suppressor and keep those threads clean, so you're not going to get your suppressor locked on your gun. It's almost impossible to get your suppressor locked on the gun with taper mounts. I mean, unless you go crazy and use like Loctite or something, you're not really going to get your suppressor locked onto your taper mounts, right? As you can see on this demonstration or, or this little piece we have here, this is a taper mount that I've used before. This is from a company, I think it's Quiet Bore is the company. The taper is right here. See this angle? I mean, it's, it's literally an angle that goes all the way around. And when you put the mount, this is the mount, when you stick this guy on, it locks up and it seats up against that taper. So as you can see, all up in here, this is all dirty and nasty, all that all that gunk and you know burnt and unburnt gunpowder and carbon and everything, it builds up on this and that's fine. That's gonna happen, there's nothing you can do about it. But when you go to take the suppressor off, the threads are not gonna get all gunked up and messed up because that taper basically worked as a seal to keep all that carbon and stuff up here. I didn't clean this guy for the video. This is literally how this guy works, right? So all that carbon and nasty junk stays up here and your threads, are down here nice and clean and out of the way, all right? So here's another example from another company. This is a dead air, uh, this is their Xeno. So same exact kind of thing. And hopefully you can see, let me zoom you in. Hopefully you can see on here, it's the exact same thing to where we have lots of carbon built up on, on the muzzle device here. But back here on the coarse threads, we do not have a whole bunch of carbon and junk, right? This is much cleaner than our carboned up nasty muzzle device. So when you go to attach your suppressor, again, it's, it's as easy and simple. It's kind of like direct thread, but it's like a third or half the rotations. It's simple and easy. And also I forget the actual percentage, but it's, it's it takes less energy to attach the suppressor than it does to take it off. So it's a little bit harder to take it off than it is to put it on. The benefit to that is that your, your suppressor is not going to accidentally work its way off the gun or at least it shouldn't. If you put it on properly, it's gonna be harder to take it off. So don't go gorilla hands and tighten this guy on. You don't have to do that. It's very simple to get it tightened on and then very simple to get it taken off whenever you need to have it taken off. All right guys, so there you go. I don't know, maybe many of you knew that stuff. Maybe a lot of you didn't. Um, suppressors are pretty dang popular nowadays and people are getting into all kinds of mounts and stuff. So do your homework, do your research. Um, quick detaches, they have their place. Direct threads, they have their place too. Uh, but particularly if you're doing precision work or like bolt guns, this is a hunting rifle, and I don't want to add a whole bunch of weight to the system, 
but I still want to be able to take the suppressor off and not have to worry about putting on thread protectors or other muzzle devices, I can use a, uh, a taper mount system, whether that be with a, like this guy has a, uh, a flat, or a non flash hide. this guy has a brake on the end, right? But I can have a brake, I can have a flash hider, or sometimes it's like, it's just the taper. There is no accoutrement to the end of, this, of, the, of the system, right? So it depends on your flavor, what you particularly like, right? So I'm gonna stop right there before I start talking in circles. I hope you found that interesting, hope you found it helpful, all right? Let us know down below, what do you prefer? Do you prefer direct threads? Do you prefer quick detach, whatever it might be? What's your favorite flavor? Or have you really looked into some of these taper mount systems? All right, there's a lot of them out there. We'd love to hear back from you guys. Hope you found it interesting and helpful. I already said that once, not gonna say it again. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.